ten men for half the, half the game, but they had a lot Onside. of chances. Wilson down the left-hand side now. Shadow by Callas towards the left side of the penalty area. Coming in support. Wilson takes him on, but he's brought down, and Wilson has won Bournemouth yet another penalty. Wilson put it past the defender, Callas, who hauled him back. And what an opportunity with 11 minutes gone for Jan Kermigant to put the Cherries one up. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about that. He's knocked it through the, the boy's legs. And then it became a race and Callum was past him. A little tug of the shirt. Clipped him on his heels as well, I think. And that means Jan steps up to take the penalty. It's the Cherries' 13th penalty of the season. Will it be lucky for Jan Kermigant, who is four from five? from the spot this season. Big moment in a big game. Scores! Cherry's off and running. 11 and a half minutes gone. Kermigan, cool as you like. Left side of the goal. Constantopoulos went the right way. But a big goal. And the Cherries lead middles were by a goal to nil. Pugh turns away from Clayton twice. Then he comes across the top of the box. Kermigan has a look around. Tries to find something on. In the end, Adam reaches there. But Pugh has won it back. Kermigan gets another foot in. Cherry somehow have still got the ball. Oh, Pugh, some fantastic skill on the edge of the box. He's still going. Sets it up for Arta! Oh, Harry Arta has done it again! A rocket at Cardiff! One with even more power here, which erupts Dean Court. A massive two-goal lead for the Cherries in a massive game towards the top of the championship. Progress uh, from the last uh, six weeks or so. 17 minutes to play. 2-0 ball with Arta. What a run into the area. He goes down. No penalty. It's going to be a yellow card, is it? No, it is a penalty. Well, referee Anthony Taylor had a long think about it as Harry Arta went into the box. And a penalty has been given. Well, it has. What a delay. It almost looks like an apologetic from Harry Harter, but that's the longest I think I've seen in for a referee to think about him and give a penalty. Well, Jan Kermigan, having scored a penalty earlier, is that off the best. field. Brett Pittman's got the ball. There's no, uh, no chats between Pittman and Wilson this time. Well, we said about Lee Mason on Tuesday night not taking his time to make a decision. Well, Anthony Taylor took all the time in the world there to make that decision. They're still arguing over it, Harry Arthur and Tolan, I think. Well, there was a couple of Middlesbrough players there. Well, Arthur went down and Pittman now. What a crucial moment this could be to surely put Middlesbrough out of sight. He does with 3 now. Firm and low past Constantopoulos. Pittman has six in his last four games. The Cherries have three. Middlesbrough have none. And Bournemouth will rise once more to the summit of the championship.